Somebody's moved it. It was right here. Somebody's moved it. Hey, what are you guys trying to pull? Hey, you don't think they loaded it already, do you? No, of course not. Here, look in the back. Take yeah. that. Professor, I told you we shouldn't get mixed up with amateurs. Relax, Charlie. They have got more to lose than we have. I know where it is. Is it the final assembly room? Hey, it's on the tarmac. Roger, but Tom. Come on, let's come on. I dropped the flashlight. I got the flashlight. I'll get the flashlight. You take him to the yeah, final get assembly the room. Get the flashlight. I will. Shh. Did you lose this flashlight? Oh, yes, yes, sir. Thanks. I'm sure you have a perfectly reasonable explanation why you were crawling around the floor here instead of being in Rome on your vacation, where you belong. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. You don't have to tell me. I don't? No, I'll tell you. You will? Mm. You couldn't bear to go away and uh, not see the launching of the moonshot. Well, the truth is, sir... Well, the I, truth I absolutely... is, I should have guessed it. Uh, do you know your trouble, Major Nelson? What's that, sir? You're over-conscientious. Me? <laughs> but it's not going to go unrewarded. <clears throat> oh, well, that's very kind of you, sir. You're going to watch that launching from the control room. I'm going to watch it, sir. Oh, I, I insist. No, I, I have a plan. You're going to sit right next to me. Yeah, but, sir. Oh, yes. No, 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 no. And after the launching, I'm going right to put you on the plane. Sir, myself. it's very important no, 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 that I go. Come along. Please, Final assembly room, dum dum. Oh, thank you. Joe, I'm hearing it again. Hearing what? Voices. Didn't you hear it? You mean the one that just said, Where am I? and then, Thank you? Mm mm, I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> right, neither did I. What do you think it was? Probably some new secret weapon. Boy, you know, those Russians going to be in for a surprise. <laughs> That's it. Let's go. Now, wait a second. Wait a second. You don't just expect us to work on that thing out here in the open, do you? Oh, we have to. In a few minutes, that thing's going to be shot to the moon. Look, you stay here. I'll go and see if the coast is clear. Professor, I don't like it. Look, even if we're able to get the jewel out of that safe, I mean, if it is one of a kind, we'll never be able to push it. It's very shrewd, Charlie. But you miss the crucial question. Why would NASA want to shoot a rare, precious stone to the moon? Yeah, that's right. It's a phony. So why are we staying here for? Why? Why? Because whatever is in that safe, Major Nelson and Major Healy are desperate to get it out. And people don't get desperate over something of no value. That's why. Jeannie, can you hear me? It's me, Raj. Yes, Major Healy. Two men moved me last night. Where am I? You're in the final assembly room, ready to be loaded on the moon rocket. Do not worry. Well, uh, where is Major Nelson? I don't know. Will he be on the rocket? No, just you and a bunch of equipment. Well, then, I, I would like to get out, please. <laughs> don't worry, Jeannie. we got some experts working on it now. What's the matter with this thing, anyhow? What are they loading now? Let's see, number 12, meteorological survey monitor. Uh, what number is the moon safe? 17. I just remembered I gotta see somebody. If you'll excuse me. Aren't you waiting for the blast off? Of course he is. Oh, <laughs> Major Nelson put off his vacation to watch this launching. So that's the kind of loyalty we get from our astronauts, Congressman. Well, that's very commendable, Major. Very commendable. Tell me, son, how will you feel when you see that rocket lifting off its launch pad? I'd rather not try to describe my feelings, sir. <laughs> 